Hello guys, good day. Welcome back to my channel. So today we will discuss about the corbel design. So paano natin yan uh, i-design yung corbel uh, using the RC spreadsheet tool. Okay, so we have uh, an example uh, as you can see the screen. Okay, maganda tayo. Okay, so bali yung example natin yung trust na yan is nakapatong lang dun sa mismong corbel kasi yung structure natin as sa plan ni architect ganito so this is the the column this is the column okay then ito yung ano yung parapet para pitian then mayroon diyan ano may yung concrete gutter ito dito dapat yung concrete gutter yan so dapat yung truss natin is hindi pa patong sa column okay so bali yung magiging corbel natin ganito yung magiging sora so yung magiging propose natin propose na corbel Okay, ito lang. Okay, so ito yung pinapropose ko. Ito, then. Oops. Ito yung corbel na gagawin natin. So, bali, dyan siya papatong yung uh, mga trusses natin. Okay, so. Check natin to. Okay, as you can see the support. Meron tayong 469.99 na vertical support, uh, verti vertical reaction, then the horizontal reaction of 963.17. So kung maglo-load kayo, mag kukunin yung load yan, mas maganda na i-round off na lang ninyo as a factor of safety. So ito pwede natin sabihin 470 na yan, then ito 464 para may factor of safety. Pero kung gusto ninyo sakto lang, pwede nyo Uh, isulat yung kung ano man yung reaction na na formulate natin o nakuha ninyo sa analysis okay punta tayo dun sa ano sa excel na ginawa natin okay open ko yung excel na ginawa natin so as you can see ito yung uh, single core bell design tool which is uh, ginagamit na 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 natin uh, ginagamit ko ngayon sa pag-design ng core bell. Okay, palakin ko lang. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is the analysis result from the software. So, as you can see, yung vertical uh, reaction natin is pataas. Therefore, kapag ilagay natin dun sa core bell, dapat pababa siya. Yung view. As you can see, Then, as you can see in the horizontal, papunta doon, papunta yung reaction nya. Once i-transfer natin, supposed to be pa-left side sya. Pa-left side yung reaction. Yung magiging direction nya. So, which is maganda yan. Kasi, ibig sabihin yan, hindi ma madadala yung, yung trust natin. Papunta doon sa right. Kung, kung pa-left sya, so ibig sabihin, magre-react lang dun siya sa papunta sa column. Pero, uh, i-check natin, i-input natin yan as negative and positive. Kung titingin natin kung anong mas malaki yung bibigay din ay yung mas maliit. Pero, as you can see in the analysis, so, papunta yan sa column. So, this is, uh, this is good. Compare sa papunta dun. Para hindi ma mahulog yung ano mo, yung trust. Okay, so let's design this example. Say, yano ko mo na to. Tanggalin ko yan. Okay, so ito magpropose tayo mo na ng sa ginatin 350. This is the width of the core bell. Yung lapad niyan. Then yung edge na yan, as you can see. Ito yung edge natin. That's the total height. 
uh, mag sample mag guess muna tayo let's say 700 then yung div na yan that is the div so yung height na yan minus, minus lang natin sa concrete cover which is 40 so that is 700 minus 40 so 660 then fy natin this is the yield strength of the reinforcement of course gamit tayo ng grade 60 that is 415 mpa then f prime let's say 20 megapascal or pwede 20.7 megapascal yung compressive strength ng uh, concrete then for normal concrete yung factor natin commonly that is 1 para sa mga normal concrete then the VU this is, this is the ultimate vertical load which is 469.99 let's say 470 470 then yung A natin that is the distance of vertical load from face of column okay so ito yung support natin nandito yung face nandito yung column natin yung sa akin is that is 500 500 yan so yung inyo naman natin yung inyo that is the ultimate horizontal force acting sa core bell ito na yung 963 so ngayon it take as positive muna natin yan so 964 let's say 964 then the bar of the main tension that is ito yan ito yung main bars natin yan let's use 20 then numbers natin let's say 5 then yung horizontal naman ito yung assist stirrups na yan let's say 10 or 10 mm A number let's say 4 then ito is spacing uh, let's assume uh, 100 mm is spacing okay As you can see in the summary or punta man na tayo dito sa calculation, ito yung calculation natin. Then, of course, yung may summary. Uh, ang gagandaan rito, yung summary lang yung titignan natin. Ito yung capacity niya. So, ibig sabihin, pag less than sa 1, okay siya. Pag more than sa 1, so hindi siya okay. Okay? So, wait lang. Uh, yung aso, ang... <laughs> yung aso ano ayun ngayon ang aso okay so let's continue okay wait lang guys okay uh, let's continue as you can see uh, vertical loads capacity okay siya so may 30 plus percent pa siya na factor of safety yung main tension lang ito yon yung 964% So, kailan natin yan mag-increase ng number of size, uh, number of rebars, then yung size ng rebar. Then, of course, yung horizontal uh, reinforcement natin. Okay? So, i ipasa muna natin yan yung main reinforcement. Let's say 25. So, you can see, nag lumit na yung ano natin. Uh, lumaki na yung capacity ratio. Let's say... 9 so hindi pa siya pwede rin aside from reinforcement pwede ka rin mag increase pwede ka rin mag increase dito ok let's say 800 so as you can see nag change siya uh, yun lang malit lang yung oh so pasado na siya sa number na 9 pieces na 25mm tapos sa 900 na H nya is pasado na kaso nga lang malit yung factor of safety so ilang lang yan pwede natin yan palakihin pa let's say uh, sa 1 meter so as you can see pwede na okay na yan sa ma okay na yung factor of safety natin sa 1000 then ito yung river natin pwede pa yan natin i let's say sa 125 So, okay siya. Naka 78%. Okay. Okay siya. Yung spacing. Yung 78SH na yan, ito yan. Spacing yan ng, ng stirrups. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, okay na yung summary natin. So, yung vertical load capacity, check natin. Although, 45% ang yung nagamit niya. Then, main tension reinforcement check. So, naka 95% rin. 
horizontal reinforcement check sa 85% tayo. Maximum spacing is 78%. So therefore, a uh, single core belt 150 deep with 20.7 megapascal concrete and 415 megapascal steel uh, provide main tension reinforcement as 9-25mm bars. So ito yun. Ito yun. UNT. Tapos uh, bar diameter T. Provide horizontal reinforcement as 4 dash 10 mm na bakal ito yan okay okay yung as you can see yung a na yan is the distance from the face of the column to the center or to the support for the point of load tapos yung ito yung height na yan although yung 0.5 h is more than sa minimum ito lang ginagamit ko para palaging more than sa minimum 0.5 h okay then, reference natin is the CI310-14 then tense calculation. Okay, ito, uh, free lang to. I-upload ko na yun sa mga member ng level 2, guys. Yung level 1, sorry guys, uh, for question and answer portion lang. If you like to upgrade your uh, membership, pwede kayo mag ng level 2 na uh, membership dun sa YouTube channel natin. Okay, yun lang guys. Thank you for watching. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, especially to those uh, who are not yet subscribed to your channel. And please do share na rin and like for every videos na i-upload natin. Keep safe always guys. God bless.